friends, we're going to do a get ready with me today, as you can tell by the title. So if you want to see how I got this and this, then just keep watching. Okay, let's get started with the get ready with me. I got these from, I think it was Ali, or not AliExpress, from Timu. And I really do like them. So we're just going to tie the hair back. It's a mess because I haven't done it yet. We're doing a get ready with me, remember? Okay, first off... We are going to start, I always like to start out with the faux era all matte. We're going to do a uh, faux era today. All matte, um, this is faux era all matte pore invisible face primer. And I have another backup in my drawer because I'm almost out of this one. i got to get to ordering another one because I love this, y'all. There it is out. Well, okay, let's just get another one. Here's one. Man, I gotta get to ordering this. Okay, here we go. I have I have a full one. Oh, don't make me panic like that. Okay, first off, I like to put on the face primer first, and then I will move on. And you notice I'm not putting it up here, okay? And I'll tell you why here in just a minute. When I start rubbing my face, it always gets red. I don't know why. It'll go away, but okay. Now we're gonna let that set. Again, I'm going to show you the, I don't know what that is. I think it's lipstick or makeup or something. Ooh, yeah, it's makeup. That's all over it. Let's get that off before I get that all over me. Shall we? I don't even have any Kleenexes in here. What is the deal, Marshall? That's what my father-in-law used to call me, Marshall. Let's do the Marsha, Marshall. Did I say, you want to share some popcorn, Marshall? Okay, here we go. Now, while that is setting, we are going to do the lashes. And the reason why I do the lashes first, well, this, but you know what I'm saying, is because I use an eyeliner glue, uh, lash glue liner. And this is what it looks like for the newbies. Y'all, I have used this for years. It is liner, not years. I just found out about it, what, last year? Um, but it is a game changer compared to glue. And we're going to try some new ones today, some new lashes. We're going to do these. So, I do this first because this says, says on the box, do not uh, put this over makeup. Like, don't put your makeup on and then put this over because it won't stick. Because this is the glue. So let's get going, shall we? All right. What I do is just I start right where the my inside lash starts. And then I move my way around. If you're going to do a wing, and I've said this before, if you're going to do a wing, don't do it with the glue. Because you just waste your glue. Go back and get another liner and do do it with that okay and then i've already cut them they had little you know little things that stick out and i think that's just so you can get a hold of it with your tweezers i've already cut them off i love these these are going to be pretty all right let's see let me get my sorry for digging i have to get my tweezers okay here we go and this is so easy because i need my mirror sorry guys i have to have a mirror for this you just lay it down where, you know, where your lash starts right there. And then you just come on around with it. I think this is going to be a little bit too long. Hold that thought. I'm going to have to trim it. If they seem too long, you can do this and I didn't do it. If they seem too long, you can always trim it. Of which I'm fixing to do. Right there. And when you trim it, don't trim the inside. From the inside, trim the outside. Okay, now let's try that again. Ah, got to see, guys. I'm sorry, I have to see. And then just bring it on around. Bring it on around. And what I do is I push to push that on to the glue more. I love these. I could probably wear my glasses with these, but I'm not, you know. Okay, then we'll take this one, and again, you don't want to trim it from the short side. You want to trim it from the outside. So we're going to go back over here, and I know where I trimmed it. I trimmed this little side off right here, so cut it off. 
There you go. Simple as that. Then I just take these and put them in the trash can. Okay. And then we are going to start right there. Come on around. Guys, this is hard to do in the camera. Okay? It's very hard to do. <laughs> I'm used to a I'm used to doing this with a mirror. And I think I'm going to continue on with the mirror. Y'all can see me anyway, right? Right. Okay. There's that. Notice I didn't put any mascara on first. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And it all depends on the lash, okay? Depends on what the lash. If the lash is lighter, um, I'll usually do it first. Then push. Just kind of, I push like this. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm pushing. Sometimes I'll take the end of my uh, tweezers and just kind of push. And sometimes I may need just to pull it on over too because I may have it a little bit too, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There we go. And then I push again. Now, if you're just not sure, like... If you're thinking, okay, I don't know if that's going to last. I don't know if it's going to stay. Um, then go back. Don't go back with your glue, okay? Because you don't want to waste your glue. There's not a whole lot in these anyway. Go back with a liner, um, just a regular eyeliner, and then just go over it if that makes you feel better. Just kind of put it on there. Now. If you feel like it didn't stick like that one, then you can go back with your glue. I feel like that one in the corner didn't quite stick. So what I do is just put it back in the corner. And then I'll take my Okay, and then I'll stick it back on there. Tweezers. I didn't say I just stopped in the middle, but my mind went somewhere else. Okay, there you go. And if you feel something in the corner, what I do is I take my finger and just kind of push up. Okay. And you're done with that. Now I can move on. And what I'll do is I always wait till last to do my eyeshadow. When I used to do the eyeshadow first, but I don't anymore since I have to do, you know. All right, this is the faux era. This is in 102, um, 102 Nude, and I'm getting low on this one. Of course, you saw I have two more in my backup drawer. Um, and what I do, since it's low, I'm not throwing it away, by George. We'll be using every last bit of this until, until I'm scraping. Not that it's expensive, but why waste, right? Okay, and I use a sponge for this. And now I've said this before, I use a sponge because sometimes I feel a brush just pushes it around, okay? Pushes the makeup around, leaves uh, bare spots. And I've seen, I've watched people put their makeup on, and while I'm watching, I see the makeup just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of uh, makes it splotchy. And not all, mis not all foundation does that, but a lot of it does. That's like the Saint. You know, the Saint is one of my favorite. And this brush is a Saint brush. But I feel like this brush just pushes it around. Just, it just, and it's a cream. It's a cream um, foundation. But this one don't. So, you know, you just have to pay attention to it. To what it's looking like once you get it on. I pay lots of attention to it because I just, I've seen, I've used it before. And then thought, man, why is that so splotchy looking? But, and I've tested it too. I've done, um, I've put it on one side, one the other, and used a sponge on one side, and then used a brush on the other, and I liked the sponge a lot better. Does that mean all of it? No, because I do use a brush for the Saint. I just use this one and not that one. But anyway, there's that little tidbit. Okay, now then, 
now I can go ahead and now that I got my lashes or yeah my lashes on I can go ahead and put a little bit of this up here okay because I wouldn't have done that before again because it says to uh, for the lash glue wash your eyes real good make sure they're clean and then apply your uh, liner lash glue don't do it it won't stick I've tried that too I've already tried it it won't it won't work okay then I'm kind of gonna skin on skin don't hurt it and I, I don't know why I do this I just kind of like to pack it in I don't know I'm weird I'm weird that way okay and then and then let's go ahead and do the brows because they are certainly staring at me like you're gonna leave me like this so I'm just gonna use it this is an eyebrow uh, shades shades and Shan Sean the gel eyeliner it's an eyeliner it's not a brow pencil I do have brow pencil somewhere though that I use yeah here we go brow pencil this is LA colors brow pencil and y'all can watch me from up there and it looks like I need to trim again y'all's uh, brows grow as quickly as mine do. It is like, oh, I'm using the, uh, this is called a Flipow, Flipow. I use it for my brows. Okay. And I, you guys have been with me for a while. You know, I like my brows very thin hardly any hair I don't like all that thick hair and you notice I'm going this way not up I that look is just that is the worst look I have ever seen in my life when you comb your eyebrows up you look like uh, Marco uh, is it what is his name Marco Marks or what is his name you know his lashes or eyebrows go so, ugh, ugh. <laughs> it's so ugly to me, it's definitely not uh, feminine. I don't know. It's just me, though, guys. It's just me. Okay. Now that we got that on, we're going to move on to... I'm just going to use... Um, I'm going to go in with my Milani Intense Glow. Um, let's see. Wait. I'm wearing pink. So, I'll use a little bit of it. I don't normally when I'm not... I use a little bit of it. This is a bronzer. Just a little bit, just a little bit of your love for me. I don't know why that song come to my mind. I just don't know. I watched a group last night, and I just come across them last night. They're a religious group, and oh my goodness, I was just thrilled to watch them. And they're called uh, the band Kane, C A I N. Oh. In, in its younger gender. Oh my gosh, guys, they were awesome. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm scratching my nose. I'm not picking it. For orange, I know we're going pink. We're going pink. pink. See, I'm so used to doing orange. I'm wearing pink today. I'm so used to doing orange. I just automatically got orange. I'm going to wear, uh, this is called Cheek to Chick Swish and Pop Blusher by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's in Love Glow. It's a pink. Isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful pink. So, that's what we're going to wear on the Love Glow. We're going to Love Glow it up. There we go. It's warming up outside. Daniel and I, I need to run to the store. We're not going all the way to town. We're just going to go to the dollar store. And it's warming up. So, I told Daniel, I said, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to go with you this time. Because it is warming up a little bit. Okay, now then. Where is my, oh, I'm going to use, this is the um, setting powder, and it's from MN Soothing Setting Powder. See that? And I got it from Timu, and I promise you, it is, it's almost, it, if it's not, it should be a dupe for the Ciate setting powder, white setting powder, because it's wonderful. Oh, I forgot, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use, 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 uh, I usually use this. But I think today I'm going to use this, this little doodad. And we're just going to set that, let it be baking. 
Bake away. Bake away. <laughs> I know y'all's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Just, just hang tight, would you? Just hang tight. Okay. That's all of that. Now then, while that is doing its thing, all I like is the under, under my lashes. And I don't think I'm going to do liner under my lashes because, because, because I'm just not. I don't know. These lashes are big enough, so we're just going to kind of not, you know, I mean, not the lashes, but the liner is enough up there. So we're just going to do, we're just going to do, um, yeah, mascara here. Now, I usually do marry these once I start putting the mascara on underneath. If y'all's wondering what this mascara is, it's pretty good. And it's cheap. And I'll tell you why. I got it from Timu. And y'all know I'm always a sucker for, does it work? Does it not? Is it going to make your lashes long? Of course, y'all know there is just no mascara in this world that would make my lashes um, curl up and be long. Okay? just no, There's just none. I've come to that conclusion. That's Okay. I can really put on my lashes a whole heck of a lot faster than I can. Um, where is my rag? Than I can putting on mascara. And that's the truth. But you see how pretty this is? Oh, where's my, yeah. Hang on, let me wash my hands. I don't even have any. That's another thing I need to get at the Dollar Tree is some more face wipes because I like using it for my hands too when I'm doing makeup. Get ready with me. This is 70 Mascara Fiber Lashes. Got this from um, Timu. This is what it looks like. The brush. And I love it. I mean, look at this. It's just, it does exactly what I want for the bottom lashes and it kind of separates them like I like y'all know I like them real separated and and to kind of match the top but anyway this I'll, I'll leave the link to this below it's called 7d romantic bird mascara fiber lash now it's hard it, it comes off like if you put your like I just put my hands up there to put my my lashes in with uh to, to marry them, it does get everywhere. I mean, it, it, yeah. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and go for the eyes while the other is setting. I'm going to, I'm going to go with the Ocalon Take Me Home palette. And I've had this palette forever. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I don't even know where I got it. I want to say Walmart, but don't hold me to that. So, a lot of people don't like putting on their um eyeshadow after their lashes because of the fallout but what i do is i take my finger for the lid and i just roll over it just a little bit and then i just go in with my finger because it don't have a chance to fall out that way it just kind of my finger is just rubbing it all in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I had to look down in my mirror. It'd be hard for me. If y'all didn't have a mirror and you said, do this without the mirror, I would have a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I'd have a whole lot of trouble. Okay, do y'all see that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to take a different kind of pink, and I'm just kind of going to go in the middle with that. And I'll show you the pinks I used. Okay. I used this pink first, then I used this pink second. Then I had it's like a burgundy. The shirt I'm wearing, well, it's that cat shirt that I hauled. The pink and burgundy, burgundy looking, pink and reddish looking. I don't know. It's so what I'm gonna do is I don't know yet. <laughs> I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Blend it in with the other one. I don't I don't know myself what it's going to look like, but we're going to see. I'm going to use a brush like this. 
I have a little brush cleaner in my drawer, so let me clean my brush. Okay, now let's see what this is going to look like. I'm not real sure if it's not as purply, pur pur purply as I want, we'll move on. Because we can always blend, okay? That's my drawer you hear. I have my drawer pulled out sitting on my, you know, pulled out and my legs are under it. And when I lean up, my legs push on it. And it sounds kind of like a fart, but it's not, okay? I'm going to go ahead and come on over here with this lightly, kind of blend it over in there. Not necessarily, I want it lighter on this side. You see that, how I'm just kind of pulling it over? It's a light, but it's not necessarily all dark, you know, you know. Okay, there's that. Now, I don't have a burgundy in this palette. So, I'm going to pull out the Laura Geller. This is the Laura Geller, uh, sorry, my nose is itching. Laura Geller, Geller Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this one for a while, too, but we're going to go in... I think I'm going to use this color right here. This color is called Relaxed. So let's let's relax this up a little bit and see if that's yeah that's that's yeah. Now I could go in with what is that one beside it? Relaxed and natural. I don't know why they call that natural, but <gasps> I could go in with it. But in my mind, I think it would be too dark. So this is what we're doing right here. Okay. That'll work. Just blend that right in. So, oh, why does my nose itch today? It's like somebody's coming with a hole in the britches. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to or not, but I think I'm going to try it. It's kind of a, a gamble because I kind of like the this look. I'm going to go back in with maybe the darker. Well, no, let's see. I'm going to go in with this one. This one is called Effortless. Let's see what that one looks like underneath. I may regret this. Okay, let's do the other one, the dark one. I did the dark one, but guys, it's starting to look like a, a little dark. It, it looks more like a liner. I went in with this one, the natural but now i'm going to take this you see this it's like a smudger and i'm going to try to smudge that out because i don't like it okay i smudged it out that looks a lot better smudged out smudge it out and down you see how that kind of see the smudges it a little bit there that's better that's better is that better for y'all this is a beautiful palette and i love this palette do you see the colors this is a lighter color which let me see if i can get some out of that because i'm gonna put it up here i don't know if i can or not actually i need white up there because there's a lot of white okay in my outfit Anyway, this is a beautiful palette. Beautiful. And it, again, it's called the Laura Geller Casual Collection. Okay, there's that. Now then, let's, um, I'm going to try to apply a little bit more mascara on the bottom because that just kind of jacked it up for me and I don't like that. When I tried to do the underneath. That's what I get for trying to decide it after I've done all the other. Okay, there's that. That was a very good brush for that, and I don't know where I got it. Maybe an Ipsy bag, I think. It looks like it came in. I don't know, but it's a good brush. I like the real soft ones that I can control. I don't like the stiff ones. Okay, there's that part of it. Now let's go back and do the white. And when I say white... Most of y'all know what I'm talking about when I say this, okay? Because it's the Wet n' Wild Paint Pot in white, white paint pot. And what I do with this is I take a little flat. This is, I only use this for this. And I tap it. 
and then I just kind of tap it under the brow. Okay, and then I take it and tap it again under the brow. Okay, and then sometimes, and I have, well, I won't do that because I do have, well, I might as well get the excess off. I have a pencil, a white pencil, but I can do it this way because I have excess on it, and I'll do it that way. But what I will do to lighten my eyes up is... I will take that white pencil. I got this from Dollar Tree. I, you don't see very many of the white. And this is called uh, LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in white. And what I'm going to do is just kind of lighten my eye up. And I'm going to put that right there on the inside. See how much better it looks. It's not the, you know, I know it's winter, but I don't want the real dark look. That works. And see this I can put on the inside too. But since I already have this other on, there we go. And then I'll take my finger and just kind of blend that. I don't want to use a brush to do that with. It just looks more softer to use my finger and do it that way. Okay, then, then, what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to go like this for the side. So to be even, I don't like it when it's way out here. I like even the edges up. And then I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to get that setting powder in there. And there is going to be my makeup look for today. I love these lashes because I am in love with these lashes. I love the crisscross and the crazy ones, you know? Am I cray cray? I don't know. And then today, I'm going, what I'm going to put on for lip, I'll just go ahead and put it on for you, okay? I'm going to use, this is the LA Mood. Remember when I, I don't know if y'all remember this, I got this from the Dollar General. And uh, it's lip gloss, but it kind of turns a little pinkish after you put it on. So what I like to do is, if I can find it, I don't know. I think I used this one. Okay, I want to use the Buxom Lip Liner in Cloak and Dagger. And guys, I don't think they make these big pencils anymore. I just don't. I don't, I don't think they do. And I'm going to go under it like that. This matches some of the color that's in my shirt. If y'all wonder why I do that X, it's to get that little V there. Okay, I know that looks a little harsh, but this also has a brush. To soften that up. Sometimes you just want a soft lip liner. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's going to be with a gloss. Which again, this is that mood. Put it this way. Isn't that pretty? That pink. That's almost the color pink that's in my shirt. And then... I put this on a lot, even at home. I need to get another one. There we go. All right, now let me get my hair down, get my hair fixed, and get ready, and then I'll show you the whole get ready with, with me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's the outfit. Um, face is done. I'm wearing the guitar earrings, my little pink ones. I love these earrings. And I'm wearing my uh, necklace, Etsy necklace. And, um, of course, this, I got this pulled up. This is one of those little hair clips. And, um, I just kind of got it pulled up and clipped to the side because I kind of like a, you know, asymmetrical, I don't know, can you tell? <laughs> anyway, and so I put on the vest. This is the puffer vest I got from 32 Degrees. And I paired it with 
my little white purse that I got from 30 years. Um, actually, it's 30. It's my 30 years. I did not get it from 30 years. I got it cheaper because I got it on Macari. Anyway, and then I got my white old standby white tennis shoes from Walmart. Why? Because they are so comfortable. I love them. They're white. They match. They kind of, you know, the from this to this to this, it just kind of all blends in. And then my um, pants are from Walmart. I want to say last year, but I think I think I got them the year before. But anyway, so and I know this comes off red. It's not really red. It's more of a burgundy looking color, like pink and burgundy. So anyway, so that is what I'm wearing and we are headed out to the store.